What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes and today I'm going to be summoning on Bride of Beloved's banner. Uh, Micaiah is definitely my top top priority so that I can complete my Micaiah emblem. And after that probably Raphael, um, so I'm going to try to get him. Let's use my free summon and let's try to get Micaiah on the free summon. If I get her right here, that would be the best case scenario but... It has been a while since I've got, yeah, it has been a while since I've got like a 5 star unit on my free summon. I'm gonna get forest. Uh, okay. I'm gonna try on the blue stone too. I think I'm gonna avoid the red stone uh, for now because I'm not really interested that much in Bridal Loboro. Even though I do like her voice acting quite a bit. Uh, I'm gonna get Raphael, yes! On the first blue stone. Bingo. Please have the plus resistance IV. I want to make the meme build. Oh, plus attack minus speed. All right. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting another one. And it is easy to get him. So I will definitely try that. I could also try for Nyla, actually. I do have special spiral fodder available. So I could certainly give her that. And use her as a special spammer. But Mikaya is definitely my main, main priority. I already got Raphael on my first bat, so that's already a very good start in my opinion. Uh, I'm just getting one colorless stone, okay. I'm not really gonna be going for all of the blue stones, I might just go for one of them and then just dip, because that would increase my pity rate. So I'm gonna go with that. And I think we could get maybe Bridal Leon next year, because she was definitely pretty desperate to be a bride in that, uh, in that paralogue. So maybe Bride, uh, Bride Leon and Groom Nesala as a duo unit or something? I'm not too sure. Uh, the thing is, a lot of people have been getting burnt out out of uh, Tellius because Tellius units have definitely got quite a bit of spotlight as of late. Uh, so I do understand that kind of perspective. But maybe it's, uh, it's just for the paralogue and maybe they will not just make her into a Bride unit. I'm not too sure. I'm gonna get Priscilla. Yeah, that's not the colorless unit I want. Colorless hell is still a thing. But I would like to get Mercedes, Tanya, Norn, or Tethys. At least if I'm not getting the focus unit I want. No, Virian, I didn't mean you. Come on. Just because I spoke of like four ladies, you just show up? Come on, man. So let's begin with some of the questions you guys have left in my comments. As always, if you want me to answer any kind of question of yours in a summoning video, you can leave them in the comments with the hashtag question so that I can find them easily. The first question is by Govika, and uh, they are a member of my channel, so I want to thank them for their support. Uh, do you think we'll ever get or need a Phantom HP seal? With all of the HP related stuff, it seems like it could be viable, plus HP. Uh, plus 5 HP works on some units, but on at least it brings her to the upper teens. Okay, I think this is a reference to what happens to her in Birthright, I guess. Not gonna spoil that, but uh, I, I think that might be it. Because uh, that does get cut short, I guess. I don't think they're gonna be... Oh, I'm gonna get Bright Nyla. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Okay, my first Nyla ever was minus attack, so I'm not hoping for this to be minus attack as well. Okay, that's good. I can work with that. Plus HP? Hell yeah. I, we're just talking about Phantom HP Seal and I just get plus HP IV. The game is like, you don't need that. We're gonna give you plus HP units. <laughs> so yeah, to answer a question I don't think they're gonna be making. Uh, her art is really, really nice and she actually loves being a bride. Um, and I really like the outfit that she's got. It has got some feathers, um, which is really, really nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of this alt. So, yeah, I don't think they're gonna release Phantom HP uh, Sacred Seal because they would rather have uh, people pull for Legendary and Mythic units and bless their units to increase their HP than give some, like this kind of thing. And I think they would not like the balance issues because right now only few units can really make use of these HP things like Panic Boy, Sudden Panic, even an Odd Pulse Tie, all of these uh, type of things. So I don't think they might do that and I think the boost skills are probably going to receive a tier 4 version where they work off based on the max HP of the unit instead of the current HP. So it's kind of similar to Virian's Weapon Refine in a way. 
And Phantom HP could like make it annoying for people to face units like Iago and Aversa and certain panic users in general. So that's why I think they might not just do that. Um, so I'm just gonna get Shana. Uh, I'm gonna go with this blue stone too, just to see if I can get Raphael. And nope, it's just a three-star unit. The next question is asking me, not sure if you said your results on Twitter, but which units did you choose for the Fae Voting Jubilee? Um, I, I'm pretty sure I did mention that on Twitter. Actually, no, I, I fully didn't do that. I only said that for a few categories. Hero you want as a teacher. The only correct answer to this is Wake uh, from Awakening. I just really love how he refers to himself as Teach. And uh, I wish Teach just got tenure in uh, Fae. So yeah, having him on the teacher banner would be so fun. Um, so I went with him. Most graceful dancing duet. Uh, I actually went with Inigo and Olivia. Um, I really, really like Inigo. Inigo might be one of my favorite Awakening characters in general. So I went with that. Villain you just cannot hate. I went with Leon. Most brilliant detective duo. I went with Matthew and Layla and I believe they won. Hero you wish uh, was your sibling. I went with Hector because he's such a bro. So yeah, those were my choices. And uh, I was pretty close to having... Uh, I was pretty close to having something else as a graceful dancer do it, but I just went with Inigo and uh, Olivia. <laughs> because I really like their dynamic, honestly, in Awakening. So Bright Nyla, I've got that. I think I'm gonna stop here uh, because I want to get more colorless stones. So 101 orbs. I've got two focus units so far. So, so the summoning session already has gone pretty well, I would say. The next question is by Aaron. Hopefully, I can still uh, get in a question for your next summoning video. Anyhow, here are my two questions revolving around Brave Heroes. Um, how do you think Chooser Legends 2 versions will get their refines? Uh, varying from little change to overhaul in standard or extra effects. And how do you think Predict Intelligence Systems will base their Chooser Legends 4 versions for their weapon movement and stuff like that? Keep up the good summon, stay safe and healthy inside. Thank you so much. I feel like the Chooser Legends 2 weapon refines are just going to be some slight changes and some slight effects. It's not going to be that big of a thing, I would say, as Chooser Legends 1, because Chooser Legends 1 units were struggling really, really hard. I can see Brave Salika getting a really, really good weapon refine because like Sword Infantry is already so competitive. And I'm going to get another Raphael, so I think they should do it. So now I can plus one merge him. And that is pretty fantastic. If he's plus resistance, I would be overjoyed. Minus resistance. Uh, Alright, I don't mind that. I did get a plus attack IV, so that's good enough for me, I would say. Um, his art is just so dramatic in this one. And is his foot, like, completely <laughs> disjointed? I don't, like, I don't realize how this works. Am I seeing things differently? I mean, I didn't really have the best sleep last night. So, but, like, his foot seems detached uh, it's a bit weird <laughs> but I really love his expression and this art is just so bright I love it so yeah I think few effects uh, are gonna be what choose the legends 2 units will get and for choose the legends 4 I think they might base off the retainers like uh, Edelgard could be with the side ponytail like just with the alternate hairstyles and their retainers so like Edelgard could be with side ponytail with um, with being a red mage or something because she has a hidden talent in black magic uh, or I guess reason magic Dimitri could build some kind of uh, lance and just base it off the do then he would be an armor unit I guess and I guess for Claude you could make him have an axe representing Hilda I'm not too sure about uh, <laughs> I'm not too sure about Lysithia because uh, she doesn't have a retainer it could be that she just is a staff unit or a colorless mage. That could be a thing because she does have mastermind personal skill and she's like a prodigy basically. Very genius. So it wouldn't surprise me that uh, she has got mastery on the magic to a degree where she is a colorless mage. So please tell Mikaya to show up. Come on, dude. I'm only going to be summoning on the colorless stones now. Just going to be sniping it. 
Yep, I already got Raphael, I already got Bright Nyla. Um, Bright Oboro can wait. And I'm gonna get Azama. I feel like they could have made uh, Groom Takumi, but then again, like that's another Royal. Because I do ship Oboro and Takumi. I mean, a lot of people do. It's not that far fetched of a ship because Oboro does have a crush on him. Let's see. Can I get Mikaya? Nope. Just Lacuses. The next question is asking me, I like how you ask viewers to subscribe to your channel at the end of the videos. You have a really powerful sense of humor, describing how bad YouTube sub boxes are by saying that they are about as functional as something just like a buffet or something. Uh, you recently noticed that is meme worthy. Anyway, I was wondering what's wrong with YouTube sub boxes and I'm just curious about your opinion about them. Hope you have a nice day. Thank you so much. Um, and uh, the reason why I started to do that is that I like looked at my analytics and it's pretty common for people to uh, just like close the video when it gets to the near end. So I, I was thinking, you know, how can I get uh, people to watch all the way to the end? And I thought I could give them some kind of value, maybe a joke that they look forward to. So that's why I came up with that. Um, and that's true, I do dislike YouTube sub boxes. The thing is, they were not like this all the time. Uh, YouTube has undergone so many massive changes over the years uh, that it really, really makes it different from what it was when I started. I started in 2010. Basically, now YouTube sub boxes give you the videos or give the viewers the videos uh, they think they might like. They do not consider that they have subscribed to this person to see their videos, but the algorithm just guesses what kind of video the viewer might like instead of just presenting that to them. Because the thing is, they are trying to keep the viewer on YouTube for as long as possible. So they want you to see these videos that they think you will like and you will watch a lot of them. For So for some videos that are not performing that well, or maybe you like didn't watch of that before, they might not just recommend that or just put that in your sub boxes. So that's the thing with YouTube sub boxes. Sometimes it doesn't show up and uh, that's why like notification system like was born basically because this has happened to me so many times there are some days where i go on twitter and i see so many of my mutual uh you know just mutual people who are also youtubers just complain like how the sub boxes have not been working today and that day i just uh, avoid uh, like uploading or just upload a bit late when the issue is fixed so those days are always there <laughs> So this is funny. I think the problem has got better, but still there's so much they could improve on and I'm gonna get Mikaya. So the amount of Mikayas I've got is way more functional than YouTube sub boxes. <laughs> I'm so happy. She's plus. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Perfect IV. Oh my god. Plus attack IV. This is this is amazing. Oh my god. I'm so happy. I complete my Micaiah emblem. Maybe I'll just use her in Ether Raids or something. Uh, because even though I don't like play that much in Ether Raids with this account, still like she would definitely make things easy for me. Love the artwork. Let's uh, let's take a look at their dialogue. I haven't seen that. Soth, wait. You're walking a little fast. Soth. Sorry. I'm having a little trouble keeping up in all these frills. To be honest, all of this, I'm a little lost. It's just a festival. There's no need to get all worked up over it. All the same. What is it? Seeing you dressed like this, it struck me that I'm suddenly seeing you as the man you've become. When I look at you, I think he could take care of someone. He could make someone truly happy. Mikaya, the only person I want to take care of is you. If there's someone I want to make happy, it's you. Don't say things like that unless you really mean them. But I do mean it. I'm just being honest with you. No, I, I know you are. It's just... I'll admit, I don't really understand why people get married. But if that's what it takes to stay by your side, Oh, Soth, that's enough. Mikhail? We will be together, for now and for always. But getting married, that's not something we can just... just do. 
that maybe someday, when we're ready, you can ask me again. When the time is right, I want to hear you say those words. I really like Zoth and Mikaya's characters, but I'm not the biggest fan of this ship, but still I find this dialogue so funny. She just... She's, she just kind of rejects so. I really wish they didn't do the thing they did with uh, Meteor Heroes page with these two units. Uh, because they do get married at the end of Radiant Dawn, so they are pretty much canonical. So I got all of the focus units which I really really wanted. Only Obora is left. I'm not sure if I want to go for her. Because I only have 30 orbs left. So I'm not really too sure about that. I'm just very happy with plus attack Mikaya. I might make an arena showcase video with the Mikaya emblem. Because I'm just so excited that I got her. Uh, this summoning session was really, really good. Uh, I do have some free summons left, so I will do them. And then I'll try to summon on my um, alternate account. My free-to-play account, basically. I guess I should go with this. There's no blue stone here. For Nyla. I'm gonna get Matthew. I was just trying to get Mercedes or something, maybe. I haven't gotten Mercedes in such a long time. Uh, this banner, okay, I'd like to get Ira. never mind, you're just not gonna give me any kind of, uh, redstone, so that's that. I think Ira might get a weapon refine. <laughs> Which is so ironic, because she was the first unit to really speed up the power creep in Sword Infantry units, and now, like, she's so far away compared to these new Sword Infantry units that she is requiring a weapon refine. Uh, okay, I think I'll just go with the colorless stone, because I could always get Mercedes, Tanya, Norn, Tethys, the units I want. Uh, I'm just gonna get Chad. Oh, okay. I mean, he does have speed smoke and drawback, so that's good. Uh, I do have pretty high merge on my Siegbert, so I wouldn't mind getting another copy of him. I think that would be pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. I do also have highly merged Brave Roy, so I don't really use Eliwood with Blazing Durandal. I just use Brave Roy. Uh, so yeah, let's try out my free to play count, see if I get uh, um, Bride Mikaya. So I really love Vantage strategies in general, and Mikaya works really well with that as a support unit, and her she like she herself is so powerful to do that. So I'm definitely gonna be trying to get uh, Bride Mikaya. On this account, but I don't think I'm gonna be spending too many orbs right now because we still do not know the mythic unit at the end of this month because I really dislike using Naga. And Altina's fine and all, but she'll like she'll still not provide you with the support like Air and Peony can. So I'm really looking forward to the Astra mythic hero. I think it's gonna be Astra, I think, because I think it might be Astra actually. Um, I'm thinking like it's gonna be some kind of green unit. Um, it might be that fairy that just recently showed up. I don't know what her name is. I think it was Mirabelts or something like that. Uh, Thor and uh, Hell are also some options, I guess, for the green color. Ooh, this is perfect. This is giving me so much chance of getting uh, Bride Mikaya. And I'm also building a merge project with So I'll eventually give him Broadly Fan. I'm gonna get Norn, okay. I don't have too many Norns on this account. I think this is my first one, actually, is it? Yeah, it's my first Norn on this account, <laughs> plus HP IV. Uh, that's amazing. I do I do think like Broadleaf in general is gonna be better because it's not gonna be requiring a duo skill and it can work on any turn, not restricted to a single turn. But still like, Brad Mikaya is very, very powerful in her own right. Insanely powerful with that duo skill. And I myself just use Brave Micaia on this account. For the longest time, I just used her on Merge, and many times, uh, in so many seasons, she would just carry me to tier 27 in Ether Raids. Only recently, uh, when I summoned on the Mythic Banner, I was able to get the Merges on my Brave Micaia. But before that, I was just using <laughs> Unmerge Micaia. So I do think that Brave Micaia will be able to outperform her in a way, especially with the damage output. So I'm not gonna get uh, anything here. Yeah, I'm not gonna be spending too, too many orbs here. I think I could go for Raphael. Uh, having another Dancer would definitely be nice. And I do run Galeforce teams from time to time. Because I do have a Valuria on this account. And of course, Eliwood. Like, everyone has got access to Eliwood, so... I do use Galeforce teams from time to time. So, I'm just trying to see if I can get that. 
because minus one special cooldown is really nice on his support partner. And I'm gonna get clear. Uh, no Raphael. Okay, clear. You do not have to have two lines of dialogue. I think I'll refresh my luck with some other banners. Yeah, I have to summon on these two. I don't have a Siegbert on this account, so I'll try to get him. I do not have uh, Hoshiden Summer Mikaya on this account, so even if I get Bride Mikaya on this account, I will not be able to have another Bride. Uh, I will not be able to have another Mikaya emblem, but like, I'm just so happy I was able to get Mikaya so easily. Um, I'm not sure what to do. I'll just go with the Redstone, I guess, for <laughs> Fallen Celica or something. I have normal to I do have a Fallen Celica on this account. I just never use her. I hope she can get a Weapon Refine. I also don't have any Ira. I would have liked to get a Greenstone for a potential chance to get... Amelia, but uh, I'm just gonna get Celef. Um, let's try here. Let's try to get Nyla. I do have one Nyla, which has uh, done a pretty decent job actually. I do use her from time to time, but getting another one would be nice because she does have really good fodder. This is gonna be Matilda. All right, now let's try our luck on the. Bridal Banner. Aw, oh, come on. Give me some colorless stones. This is why I want to wait for the... Frickin... Um... Mythic Banner reveal, at least. Because if it's like a melee mythic unit, then, uh... Yeah, it's not gonna be... That good, in my opinion. And it's not gonna be incentivizing for me to pull for them. I would really like some kind of dancer or... Some kind of ranging net as an Astro Mythic unit because uh, we've been using Naga for such a long time now. Um, over a year now. Game, can you please give me Raphael? Please. I would love him. I already have Nyla on this account. I'm pretty sure he can show up. Please, Raphael. Ah, oh, it's gonna be Odin. Alright. I could always just use him in Arena Assault as well. But I do have decent amount of dancers, even on my free-to-play account. And yeah, I'm just gonna get Florina. Okay. Okay, I think this is the final batch where I summon. Because I I don't think I should like go with too many orbs right now, as I said with my reasoning. But still giving this a decent chance uh with some orbs for a potential low like very cheap uh, for a potential Bright Micaiah or a Raphael was well, really good incentive at least to me. I'm gonna get Brave Elliewood. Wow, I don't have him on this account. Okay, that that's actually good. I did get a five star unit from my free to play account. I'm so happy. Uh, minus speed plus HP. I'll still build him up actually, and I'll just uh, maybe use him in Arena Assault. But the thing is that he has got a Ru skill. I think this is the first unit I've pulled ever. That has got a Rue skill on this account. So... I could always just use a Rue skill on my Nino. Because I do use her a lot in Arena. She's basically my core unit. I'm not sure. She also, like, could get Sus Battle 3 from, uh... From Elliewood. She already has the Dual Rally skill. So that's not that big of a deal. I think I'll definitely build him up and uh, use him in Arena you, Assault first. I wouldn't... This world wouldn't be here. Yeah. Thank you, Elliewood, for showing up. Let's try with my final summon. Uh, that's really amazing that I didn't like end up with no 5 stars on this uh, free-to-play account. I still got Elliewood. Um, I'm so happy with this uh, summoning session, honestly. <laughs> it has been so nice, so I don't end up with a pity rate. At least I got something, and Elliewood is just like pretty good as a unit. He also has good fodder, so I'm really happy with this summoning session. On my main account, I do have uh, Mikaya Emblem now, so expect an Arena Showcase soon, hopefully, because I'm really, really excited to use her with all of the other Mikayas. 
So let me know how the summon went for you guys in the comment section down below. I want to thank all of my YouTube members for their support. And if you enjoyed, then please be sure to leave a like. It is going to be helping me tremendously. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because YouTube sub boxes are about as functional as the amount of redstones I summoned on this bridal banner. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.